All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're here to do a Cruisin' Blast video. I love this game. It's a game that I, I played a lot on the Nintendo Switch. And now, as you can see, it is on my arcade, but it is not the Nintendo Switch version. Techno Pirate actually came out with Cruisin' Blast, the actual arcade game. And I wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, the game, talk about it, talk about the differences that I noticed from playing on my Nintendo Switch versus the arcade game that we now have at home, thanks to Techno Pirate and all the people who, who uh, you know, get us these games. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is the gaming tech. Gaming techie. All right, guys, so here we are with Cruise and Blast here at the main menu. And one of the things that I got that I added to my build here is uh, this little mini keyboard here because some of these games like Fast and Furious and Cruise and Blast, you can actually uh, enter in numbers. So you can just go ahead and do that. I can go ahead and enter in my pin as if I was in the arcade, press the slash button right here on the keyboard, and it welcomes me back, Carlos, as you can see there. So you can actually save your profile in some of these games like Mario Kart um, and Fast and Furious and stuff and, and H2 Overdrive, so you can actually keep track of all your stats. Uh, I just started playing. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I'm a little sick uh, with my cough. But... Um, you can see all the races and stuff that you've done. Uh, I just created this profile here, but then you can go ahead and hit start. Before we do that, though, I wanted to talk about, uh, you know, what makes this game cool. So you guys know that the game has already existed on the Nintendo Switch. I actually have, you know, I own a copy of it on the Nintendo Switch, and I actually use that copy to, you know, play on an emulator on my PC as well that I did a video on, I believe, on this channel a while ago. And it was great. It ran great. It works gr great with the Wii, but it's nothing like having the arcade game. And now that we have the arcade game, it actually looks a lot better too. Uh, the light, there's actual lighting in this game. There's shadows in the game. There's no shadows at all, and you guys will see that here. Um, so it's very, very cool uh, to see. <coughs> Again, sorry for the coughing. Been getting over uh, being sick for a while, and finally only down to a cough. But you can go ahead and select, you know, whatever car you want and stuff like that. Go ahead and select Blast. And as you can see here, the graphics look fantastic. It literally looks like I'm playing in the arcade right now. London looks really, really good. There are a couple of small glitches sometimes, uh, but nothing too crazy uh, that I've noticed. This is on Techno Power, but it is. You have to be subscribed to their monthly uh, subscription in order to be able to play it. You got to support these guys getting us these games. So I have no problem throwing them a few bucks to get these games. And Cruising Blast being one of my favorite games, like, you know, like, you know in the arcade for racers. Uh, and now having the actual arcade game is just awesome. There's a lot more crashes, a lot more details compared to the Switch version. Um, again, there's a lot of, uh, you can tell the resolutions uh, obviously running a little higher and things just have a sharper detail to them. And again, the shadows really stand out uh, because there are no shadows at all on the Switch version. And the lighting effects and the lighting around the levels really do make it look a lot better. So I would definitely, this is the definitive way to play Cruise and Blast at home with a wheel in my opinion. Even though the Switch version has more tracks, because they have like 20 tracks and this arcade only has five, uh, but a lot of the tracks on the Switch version are just remixes of the original five, so it's nothing crazy. <coughs> I wasn't paying attention, I could have done better. Time wasn't great, but the game's a lot of fun. Super happy to have this, like I said, in the home arcade. Didn't think we were gonna get it this soon. I didn't think, since I know that the game's still out on Dave and Buster's and stuff, I didn't think we would uh, see this on Techno Power for a while, but here we are. So you can come over here and select the five different tracks, like we just did London, or we'll do one more so you guys can see it. Uh, but they have all these different tracks on here. Uh, we will, uh, let's see, which one should we do? Let's go ahead and do Singapore. Well, yeah, let's do Singapore. Because the graphics really stand out. 
And you can also view your bonus cars as well. You can change the color. You can do all these weird cars as well. Select the Lamborghini there. And of course, I'm still signed in. Uh, you can select your upgrade. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Again. So you can see it runs really well. Like, really, really smooth. Especially for the fact that this just came out on Technopower like a couple of weeks ago. And it's already running, running extremely well. Sometimes it takes them a little while to get these games running well when they first come out for subscribers. But this game runs like a dream. Unfortunately, there is no force feedback on the wheel. That is something that's not here, but that's that's all right. Let's hop over him. There's lightning being struck everywhere, and the lightning, like I said, looks fantastic. This is arcade racing at its finest. <coughs> but yeah, the tracks look awesome. Gameplay is great. Can't ask for anything else. Having the official arcade ROM in your house now running beautifully. Let's see if we can try to get first place here. Not bad, not bad. Hey, there goes my name at the top. Awesome. And again, it saves your scores and everything. So when I exit, this will all be here, which is great. But yeah, that is Cruising Blast, guys. Like I said, I just wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, Cruising Blast. And I also wanted to talk about you know, the fact that if I exit this game here and go back, this little keyboard here that I got uh, from Amazon for cheap, like 15 bucks, is really cool to have handy and just kind of leave here in your arcade. Uh, so you don't always have to have a full keyboard because this is the other keyboard that I use and I have around for other things. When I want to use a mouse right here and a keyboard, uh, I have this ready to go if I need to do something on Windows. But this has no numlock on it. And uh, the numbers usually don't work for cruising blasts and stuff like that. It's a little bit finicky. So I decided to just get a numerical uh, little keyboard that's always on the side. It's wireless. It runs off a of battery and it has a num lock right there, which seems to work better with techno parrot games from my experience. And I just now leave this here all the time. So when someone comes over and they want to play games like fast and furious or cruise and blast, and they want to create a profile, they enter it in and their stats are saved, which is really cool. So, uh, really handy to have for the games that actually support it, uh, on techno parrot, um, which is awesome. So yeah, cruise and blast guys on techno parrot. If you guys have Techno Parrot and you subscribe to their monthly subscription, I would definitely urge you guys to, you know, get it. Uh, be subscribed, support them, because they bring us a lot of great games on Techno Parrot, uh, like this one. And, um, you know, it's worth a few bucks to throw at them uh, to get a subscription. I believe it's $6 for one computer um, that you can have active on it. I actually subscribe to more. I, I have a couple of computers because I have a gun build, which I have games on. I have a racing build right here, so... Uh, I have three machines that I used, to, uh, you know, I've subscribed for, but well worth it to keep getting new games like this and, and to be able to experience these games at home. So shout out to those guys. And if you guys have any questions about what you guys have seen, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.